Listen, young man, who's gripped in your fantasy, in your crush, in your infatuation, whatever your fallacy, whatever your malady, whatever your infatuation is, you dawi hawahu. You dawi hawahu. Treat your malady. Yaktu musirrahu. Conceal your fantasy. Wa yasbiru fi kullil umuri wa yakhba'. Learn to persevere and endure. He said, the next day I passed by, it was written, كيف يداوي هواه كيف يداوي هواه How does he treat his malady when every day his fantasy is crushing him internally? So he said, I responded further. إن لم يطق صبرا وكتما لسره فليس له شيء سوى الموت أنفع إن لم يطق Sabran wa katman li sirrihi. I paraphrase the translation of this generally. If you are unable to crush your evil fantasy, then you will die for the rest of your life. But if you can master the courage to crush it, then you will live beyond and you will live a wholesome life. Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu istajibu lillahi wa lirrasooli إِذَا دَعَاكُمْ لِمَا يُحْيِيكُمْ Or you who believe when Allah and His Prophet invite you, oblige and comply to a life that will allow you to live. So, we're not here to eliminate the human instinct. That feeling that is within us, the urge, the desire, those are natural instincts. And Islam, that's the beauty of Islam. Islam has not impressed upon us celibacy. وَرَحْبَانِيَّةِ Allah speaks about celibacy, monasticism, divorcing yourself, isolating yourself. إِبْتَدَعُوهَا They innovated it. مَا كَتَبْنَاهَا عَلَيْهِمْ We did not decree it upon them. فَمَا رَعَوْهَا حَقَّ رِعَيَتِهَا And you couldn't honor it, you couldn't comply with it because it is in conflict with the human anatomy, our makeup, our composition. So the beauty of Islam is it doesn't deny you any natural need. It regulates it. It regulates it. That's the beauty. Islam doesn't tell you don't eat. Islam doesn't tell you don't sleep. Islam comes to regulate. وَمِنْ آيَاتِهِ مَنَامُكُمْ بِاللَّيْلِ وَالنَّهَارِ وَبْتِغَاءُكُمْ مِنْ فَضْلِ Amongst the signs of Allah is sleep in the day, sleep at night. وَالنَّوْمْ بِالنَّهَارِ and sleeping by day, siesta, the, the Arabs used to sleep. So, It's all about moderation. It's natural to have some evil thought or evil desire, but the problem starts when you perpetrate it, when you take the action. When any sort of evil desire or evil thought comes in your mind, at that time, do istighfar. Ask Allah to protect you from the cursed shaitan. And try to change your mind to a positive thing. Don't go for the bad desire or bad thing that came into your mind. Remember Allah. Ask Allah to protect you, to shield you and to safeguard you from the evil desires. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make it easy for you. Read good books, listen to Islamic lectures and build up some good habits. When you are not doing anything, shaitan attacks you more. Shaitan attacks the lazy person because an empty mind is the house of shaitan. Because you don't have anything to do, so you keep thinking about all these bad evil desires. Start working. Go to the places where the good people are there. Such a place is the masjid. When you are at the masjid, when you are praying five daily salah in the masjid, you are meeting good people, you are listening to the remembrance of Allah, you are doing zikr of Allah, then you will see that slowly but surely all the evil desires and evil thoughts are going away from your mind. You are becoming a better person. Read the Quran. It will heal you. May Allah protect all of us from evil desires and evil thoughts.